Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to cover what the commutative property of multiplication is. Now, the commutative property of multiplication can be used all throughout math. Everything from basic math facts to working with more complex problems to simplifying algebraic expressions to whatever else the case may be. The commutative property of multiplication is important to be familiar with. Now, the commutative property of multiplication states that changing the order of factors doesn't change the product. Factors are the numbers being multiplied together, and then the product is the answer to a multiplication problem. So A times B equals the exact same thing as B times A. When we think of the commutative property, think commute or move. We can move those factors around and still get the same answer. Now, don't let those letters confuse you. They are there to represent numbers and show that this will work for any numbers. Let's jump into our examples and see exactly what this means. Starting with number one, where we have nine times four. Now, nine times four equals 36. The commutative property of multiplication states that we can change the order of those factors and that will not change the product. Four times nine is 36 as well. And that's the commutative property of multiplication. Nine times four equals 36 and four times nine equals 36. Let's move on to number two, where we have five times 67 times two. We have three factors, three numbers being multiplied together. Now we can use the commutative property of multiplication to make this problem simpler to work through. So let's change the order here and switch the two and the 67. So we have five, times two times 67. Now let's multiply starting with five times two, which equals 10. Bring down the multiplication sign and the 67. Now we have 10 times 67, which equals 670. So we used the commutative property in order to change that order and we were able to do five times two, which gave us that 10, and then multiplied the 10 by the 67, instead of starting with five times 67. Now, are we able to start with five times 67 and work from left to right without using the commutative property? Yes, let's actually do that off to the side to show that we will still get 670. So let me rewrite this problem off to the side. So five times 67 times two. Now we can work from left to right, starting with five times 67. Let's work through that off to the side. So 67 times five. Five times seven, 35. Five times six is 30, plus that three is 33. So 300. 35. 5 times 67 equals 335. Bring down the multiplication sign and the 2. We end with 335 times 2. So 335 times 2. 5 times 2 is 10. 2 times 3 is 6. Plus 1 is 7. 2 times 3 equals six. 335 times two equals 670. So you can see that we get 670 that way as well. So there you have it. There's an explanation of the commutative property of multiplication. Just remember, changing the order of factors, the numbers being multiplied, doesn't change the product, the answer. Now the commutative property also applies to addition. I dropped the link to my video on the commutative property of addition down in the description. 
the commutative property does not apply to subtraction or division. So something to keep in mind. I hope that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, peace.